Hi everyone, this video is to help you know what to do for today's work. We are going to be working on our scripts and these are the instructions. There are some important things to know. First, today you only have to decide what scenes you want to perform from the book and decide what type of performance. If you are working with a partner or in a group, then you also need to decide your roles for script writing. Who is going to do what? But that is it for today. One question that keeps coming up is how many scenes do you need to do? You're going to see here that you need to identify what scenes are you going to act out. You need to identify the diary entry date. So if you're looking at the book, what date does it say? You need to describe the scene and the type of love the scene demonstrates. But you'll see here, you can have more than one scene. So if you are working by yourself, you need at least one scene from the book. You can have more, but you only need one. If you are working with a partner, so there's two of you, you have two options. You can either choose one scene that is two pages long. And so we're talking about about two pages, one, two. Or you can choose two scenes that are each one page. So maybe you want a scene on this page and then a scene on this page, right? So two totally separate scenes that are each about one page. So in total, two pages. If you are in a group of three, then either one scene that is three pages long or two to three scenes that are each one to two pages long. Similarly, if you are in a group of four, you can find one scene that is four pages or two to four scenes that are one to three pages each. So you will notice if you are working with a partner, you might have two scenes. If you are working in a group, you might have four scenes, but you'll notice these are optional, right? At least one scene. So again, in total, if you are an individual, your scene needs to be at least one scene, one page long. Partners either one that is two pages long or two that are one page each. Group of three, one that is three pages or two to three scenes that are one to two pages each. Group of four, one that is four pages or two to four scenes that are one to three pages each. After you decide your scenes, you are going to explain why did you choose the scenes. And the next thing is you need to decide what type of performance. So hopefully you have all watched my examples and you have two choices, live people where you show your face or puppets. You are going to wrote right here, if you want, Option one, a live performance. Option two, paper puppets. Or option three, fabric puppets. And you can see examples of all of those in the other assignment. After you do that, then you're going to think about writing your script. Now, as I said, if you are working with a partner or a group, today you also need to decide your roles. If you're working by yourself, you only need to decide the scenes and decide type of performance. If you've done those two things, you are done for today. Do not turn this in because we're going to continue working on this document and it's not due until Friday, May 8th. So please do not 
turn it in. But you have, if you've done those two things, that is it for today. If you are working with a partner or a group, then you need to decide the roles. If you're working with a partner, you and your partner or group need to decide who is going to do what part of writing the script. Option one, and this is very similar if you are with a group. Option one is you do everything together and as you are filling out this document, right, and you are writing your script, you are on the phone talking to each other and one of you is typing the ideas. Option two is you each write a script for two different scenes. So you're kind of doing separate work, but you will then act it out together. Option three is one of you writes the dialogue for the script and the other person writes the stage directions, the movement and expression. If we were in regular class, we would all be doing option three, right? That's the best way to really collaborate or option one. However, I know that this is not normal. And so if it's easier for you to separate it by each writing a different scene, that works too. And that's very similar if you are working with three or four people. You'll just divide up the work here more. You will need to write. How will you write your script and choose an option so I know what each person in your group is doing? Below this, I explain how you write your script. If you want to start practicing writing your script, you are welcome to start. However, you do not have to today. You That is for next week. But if you want to start, you can read this information of how to write your script. And there's an example script here that you can look at. This is exactly what the final product will look like. So at the end, you should have a scene that looks like this, and this is your script. Right? This would be for someone who is working by themselves or maybe in a group of two people since this script is about one and a half pages. This would be acceptable for someone doing it by themselves or with a partner. You will see this is the format, how you need to write your script with the title and your names, the scene and what diary entry, the characters' names, the setting, where are they, and then you'll have the dialogue. You'll have a lot more than that. And so in this space here is where you will start writing your script. Again, you do not have to do that today, only if you feel motivated. We are going to spend all of next week writing our scripts. This isn't due until Friday, May 8th. So, again, the only things you need to do today are identify what scene you are going to act out, explain why you chose the scene, decide what type of performance you want to do, and if you are working with a partner, you also need to decide how you are going to write your script, which of the three options. Now, the last thing I want to say is when you are deciding what type of performance you want to do, if you want to do live people acting it out, or if you want mask, or masks on your face or puppets, if you want to do puppets, next week I will provide you with the materials that you need. So once you decide if you want to do puppets, then I will communicate with you to figure out if you need materials to make your puppets. All right. Again, please do not turn in this document. We're going to continue working on it. And you just need to decide your scenes and type of performance. If you're working with partners or groups, decide your roles for script writing. That is it today. And again, please come to my office hours if you have any questions.